Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do a song by the Backseat Lovers called Heavy. I have a very clean sound on my guitar. And I got reverb and a little delay. So that's part of, part of the sound is having uh, some reverb and some delay on a clean sound. Uh, they uh, use Telecasters, so I'm using my bridge pickup and I actually have quite bright uh, pickups on this guitar, so. So I can kind of emulate that. We're, going, we're in the, the song the melody and one of the main chords are B minor. Okay, but it starts out on D. Goes to B minor. That's the main riff. And I'm using some kind of muting in the scratch. Okay, between uh, my stabs, I'm, I'm playing a kind of you know, uh, percussively. D major. B minor. Now, think of the song. They kind of like uh, do this. They, they play the D the correct way, but then they like bend this note on the uh, eighth fret on the A string. They just do that if, like you know, like through maybe the first you know 20 30 seconds. Then it just goes to uh, D to B minor the rest of the song. You could play this in the open position. But you're gonna have to palm mute. You're gonna have to like rest your uh, palm right on the strings. And probably, uh, well anyways, we'll get into to some alternative ways to play it. Because this uh, band has two guitar players. So you're not hearing just one guitar, you're hearing two guitars combined. And I have not seen them play it live, so I don't know if, if the lead singer is using a, uh, and he's the rhythm guitar player. I know on other songs he uses a capo. But this, uh, after this, D to B minor repeats uh, like three or four times, then it goes A. that A with a power chord if you wanted to. It was the um, G. Both major. G made uh, A major. G major. Right, and then there's a little walk down from A chromatically to G. So it just goes five, four, three on the bass note. And then G. Then it goes back to D. Now, uh, alternative ways to play that B minor would be um, you could take your A minor. You could slide it up to the third fret. Remember, if you do that, you can only play strings uh, four, three, two. Um, but you can, you can kind of get a little scratch action on there just by uh, not pressing down on the strings, just releasing any pressure. Another way to play um, B minor 
would be to place your index finger on second fret, high E string, middle finger on the B string at the third fret, and ring finger at the uh, G string on the fourth fret. And that's used quite a lot in a, a lot, all kinds of music uh, by guitar players who they don't want to uh, step on the other frequencies of the other instruments. Then uh, if you add your uh, pinky and move your ring finger up to the fourth string, you can play it as well like this. You're kind of incorporating that A minor shape. And you're adding your uh, index finger to the first fret to get the high E. All right, just a little, uh, and that's a movable shape. You play it at the fifth fret. It's a D minor. Uh, kind of one thing this, this is doing is playing this uh, bass note. Bass note. And then stab. And so uh, you can do that on the D. And then uh, if you're playing the uh, B minor this way, you just hit your uh, D string. So if you're walking down from there, you're gonna have to start at your second fret on the B. That's a walk down to A. And then from A, you do open fourth fret, third fret on the low E. Um, that's one of the riffs they play in there. This is uh, right out of the B minor pentatonic at the seventh fret. You're playing the B string at the seventh fret. And then you're playing the G string at the ninth and you're just going back and forth. Give it a little vibrato. Yeah, and then it concludes by uh, hitting the uh, G string at the seventh. That's one of the main riffs. Uh, You can slide up on the G to the uh, 11th fret. So 9, 11, 7 on the G. This is a chromatic walk up. It's on the D, 7, 8, 9. to uh, the eight on the, the B string. That's, a, that's not in the minor pentatonic, but it's in the melody. Right there, and you can play that at the second fret. On the A string, you would play some of these notes. Um, I'll just give you the scale. Two five on the A, two four on the D, two four on the uh, G, three five on the B, and then two um, five on the high E. You could play all the, all the solos are played out of either of those two, or you know everything repeats on the. Uh, uh, after the 12th fret, so you could play it on the 14th, you know, like you played on the 2. And the 19th, like you play on the 7th. But of course, you're going to run out of fretboard on strats. They, they use Telecasters in this uh, band, and that, that gives them a, that high uh, treble, kind of uh, real clear guitar. So if you got uh, humbuckers, put it on your bridge pickup and 
make sure you have your tone all the way turned up. Um, so that's uh, my short lesson on how to play the Backseat Lover song heavy. Hopefully this helped you, you if you have any questions or like you feel like something was left out, put it in the comments. All right, and then again, thanks for watching today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, it helps me keep YouTube off my back and allows me to make these videos. Thanks, bye.